Hello, Ricardo. My name is Sean Everett. I'm the website analysis expert at Zucor Marketing. Thank you so much for talking with Eric. Uh, he gave me your website for analysis, uh, and thank you for letting me do that. Now, uh, first off, you do have a nice website. Uh, you paid a little bit of money for it, and it shows uh, you have some nice custom photos. This slate roof is just beautiful, just on a personal note. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, it, it might be a little simple for today. There might be a little bit fewer words than, than, are, <laughs> than you could have. Uh, and sometimes keeping things simple is good, but that's what this analysis is about. Now, uh, uh, this analysis will show you how your website is underperforming how uh, you can make it perform better and how that performing better will actually put money in your pocket. And that's the bottom line. Uh, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even do this if it weren't for the fact that I'm helping folks put money in their pocket. So um, here is the deal. I'm going to show you uh, uh, how I go about the analysis. Um, the first thing I do is I look at this paid tool that I have. It's called Ahrefs and it shows me the metrics of your site and how it's been um, operating over the last, you know, a, a couple of months. Uh, and I can tell you right now, before I go on, I don't normally stop at this point, but you had zero traffic last month. Nobody came to your site. Uh, and that was last month and the month before. I don't know if it's a new site and that's maybe why I have that number there, but, uh, that being the case, uh, I will continue. Now, the reason that uh, I am doing the thing next here is a good old Port Wenimi, California roofing. Uh, and uh, the reason I'm doing that is because um, Google is responsible for about 96% of the traffic on the internet. And that is uh, just across the board. So uh, most folks don't know how Google works. And that is a disadvantage. If you are a business person, you want to know how the thing that is you're relying on for business works. And everybody at this point is relying on Google for business. So I am going to describe a little bit about how Google works. I'm going to do it uh, in terms of describing how this particular search page has laid out. And uh, hopefully it will all make sense. Now, uh, the first thing I need to say is that Google has an algorithm that determines the placement of everything. And that algorithm to determine that placement is looking for three basic things. It is looking for, well, let me get there. Uh, first off, let's get rid of these folks. They're the sponsored ones. They're, those folks have paid to be here. Uh, it can be a good method for some people, but most people sort of ignored the pay ones. They figure, why would I click on somebody that pays to be on a list of the best. But that is not what Google is, unless you're talking about a well-ordered website. Uh, the best for me would be somebody that has a good work ethic and uh, good materials, but that is not what Google thinks. Um, so uh, underneath the sponsored ones, here's more sponsored ones, uh, we find what we call the map pack. And apparently at this point, uh, Google believes that Port Wainimi has fallen into the ocean, so I don't know what to say about that. These three folks here have done something that these folks down here did not do or did not do well, and that is they filled out a Google business profile. Now, uh, that business profile is like any other kind of profile. It asks you the years that you, uh, the year you started your business. It asks you uh, what your daily hours are, and it asks you uh, some other questions, and there's some tick boxes, and and it also asks you to prove that you own the website that you're filling out the uh, uh, profile for. And, and there's a really simple way of proving that that is your website. So um, now, beyond that, uh, this is a great place to be. Near the top of a Google search has monetary benefit. Um, and it is surprising how little distance from top to bottom uh, uh, will cause something to drop in terms of the number of visitors. Now, um, I'm going to show you that underneath, I'm going to use Gills Roofing as your Google competitor because they're at the top of this business list. Now, here is their website. Nothing to write home about. I, uh, but uh, underneath the uh, map pack, we have what we call the organic search results. And these are results that the algorithm has determined the placement of 
without you having to do anything. You don't have to fill out a profile or do anything. Just to have a website and you will end up somewhere in the search results. But being at the top is better. And that is what I'm talking to you about. Because this is part two of what the algorithm wants. Now, you guys are actually the first um, uh, contractor that I find here. And uh, that is sort of uh, surprising to me for a number of reasons. But I'm going to show you why in a moment. Um, and uh, just getting back to uh, your, your competitor, your Google competitor, Gills Roofing. Uh, I'm going to show you something that I found, and that is I'm going to copy and paste your website, your homepage, into this website. You have 377 words. Uh, Gill's probably closely the same, I would guess. I don't know. 191. Wow. You win that battle. Uh, Google wants you, however, to have 1,500 words. Now, because of the community that you're in, uh, maybe the... the um, Competition there for roofers isn't that huge or something, but uh, you might think, oh, I don't need 1,500 words. Well, maybe you don't because your closest competitor has, you know, 191. But uh, Google wants 1,500 words, and here's why. They want it from not just roofers, but from anyone with a business. They want it from any sort of academic thing. Google says that 1,500 words is the minimum amount of words necessary to teach somebody who has typed something into their search box about whatever that thing they typed in was. And I don't know where they came up with that number, but that is what they believe. Now, I can also tell you that all words are not the same, and maybe that's where their 191 words are coming out on top. Now, here is your, uh, as I showed you before, the paid tool that I used. Um, with only two keywords on there. Uh, that's what I'm talking about, keywords. Keywords are words that Google expects you to have on your website by virtue of the industry that you're in. They take all of you and your competitors' sites, they mash them together, and they take out all of the different little phrases in those uh, um, web pages, and then they match them up against Google searches, and they match them up against the uh, areas that you serve. Now, uh, here is what your competitor has. They have 72 keywords, so not a lot of keywords to catch up on. Let me show you what their keywords are. Roofing Oxnard, obviously, and Ventura, Ventura County. But um, there should be other things here that are generally more about the, uh, as opposed to the where it is and, and what it does. There's some usually some sort of, uh, uh, oh, Gilroy, there we go. Uh, there we go. A hot mopped roof without get gravel. See, uh, oftentimes there are little things like that that have to do with your uh, specific industry. Uh, little things about, you know, maybe it'll be about eaves or about gables or something like that. Presidential shingles installation. There we go. Um, what else? A lot of hot mopped uh, roof questions. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's something you run across a lot. I, I would imagine for businesses, but um, I would imagine most homes are, are tile or anyway. Um, so those are just a smattering of the, uh, of the keywords. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you about are the backlinks. A backlink is where there is a link to your site on somebody else's site. Uh, an example would be Yelp. Uh, there is a link back to your website on Yelp if you put one there in your profile. Now, uh, here is what your competitor has. They have 144 with 27 domains. Here are their domains. MapQuest, Yellow Pages, Super Pages, uh, Dex Knows. Uh, now, uh, these are all rated 70 and above, and that is exactly what you want. But I can think of about another 15 or 20 that happened in the 90s. Uh, and this number here, this is the domain rating. It shows you the strength of a domain's backlink profile compared to the other profiles in your industry. And uh, what that means is, is that, you know, you have a backlink profile also, I told you, and you don't have any backlinks, so your profile is zero. However, these folks have a lot of backlinks to them, and so they have a very high domain rating. Uh, and, uh, you know, those are the ones that you want to be on. So you could easily overtake your competitor there by getting on better backlinks. 
And the reason that Google wants backlinks is because they figure that if somebody else is sending their people to this site, then that must be something that everybody would be okay with. Uh, in other words, you know, it's a popularity contest. If you're already popular, they're going to vote you in again. So uh, that's how it works. Uh, so it, it's kind of like uh, Google pre-vetting a site. You know, they don't have to do a lot of work because, hey, a bunch of people are already have a, a link to here, so it must be okay. That's how that works. Now, here's what it all comes down to. Uh, you had zero traffic, as I mentioned uh, last month. You, your competitor had 66. So that is 66 times more opportunity for uh, an estimate, 66 times more uh, opportunity for that estimate to become a customer and to put money in your pocket. Now, um, that is all the result of the placement on the Google app. They are up here, and you are not that far down below them. But uh, it gets worse from there on down. Um, I did uh, their uh, uh, domain, excuse me, their, uh, <laughs> what is this? Their backlinks. And it was pathetic. So uh, it does matter. And it, it's a question of just going up a little bit in the, in the uh, Google search. So uh, anyway, if you would rather spend your time roofing than dealing with all of this malarkey, then... By all means, please give Eric a call. He would be happy to guide you through the next steps. Ricardo, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.